Hello my study buddies welcome and welcome back to Chromed This channel is a one stop guide for all the FMG aspirants here you can find everything you need for the FMG the previous year questions important topics image based questions everything so subscribe to Chromed so in this video we will look at some important topics which you must cover from the psychiatry for the FMG If anyone have not started uh, to read psychiatry or even have not read psychiatry once, and you are worried how to complete it, then don't worry. The topics I am explaining now, I am sharing now with you guys. These topics, if you do, is more than enough for the psychiatry. So there are four to five questions asked from the psychiatry, and most of them are very easy and uh, probably the repeat topics. So if you look at the previous year topics, then you can easily score a good marks in the psychiatry. So let's look at those topics. The first and the important topic, the schizophrenia. So questions are uh, asked on the type of the schizophrenia, like they are the catatonic type, paranoid, hephrenic, simple. Okay. then questions are also asked on the symptoms like uh, usually the symptoms are the delusion plus hallucination so the delusions which are seen in the patient of schizophrenia are the bizarre that means the patient will be thinking uh, the thoughts of the patient will be very unique like if he thinks if i cough then the whole world will vanish or okay, something like this okay so and the hallucinations her uh, present with the schizophrenia are mostly the auditory hallucination and for the treatment we usually use the antipsychotics the first generation and the second generation so you need to also learn about the antipsychotic drugs and its side effect the most important side effect is the extrapyramidal symptoms so questions are repeatedly asked on this extrapyramidal symptoms and along with that how do you treat this uh, extra pyramidal symptoms so these were some points you need to read from the schizophrenia if a clinical case is asked in schizophrenia then uh, the symptoms will be described the patient is having delusions hallucination and uh, if it is motor then the involuntary movement of the muscles and all and look at the time duration also because uh, if it is schizophrenia then it should be the time duration of the disease should be more like uh, three months more than three months or six six months okay then moving on to the depression so usually a clinical case is asked on the depression uh, or one liner simple one liners can be asked that most common symptom seen with the depression which is the low mood and based on this low mood we will be making the diagnosis of the depression and usually this is also classified into the mild moderate and severe so you need to look at the classification why it is called mild moderate and severe and the diagnostic criteria is that the symptoms more than 5 symptoms should be present for at least more than or equal to 14 days so the symptoms like the low mood then decrease in the weight then not involved not getting interest in the previously interested things which is called as the anhedonia and then decrease sleep then less energy okay so all these things will be seen in the patient and if it is present for more than 14 days then it will be depression then moving on to the antipsychotic drugs so we have already discussed that these drugs are mainly used for the uh, treatment of the schizophrenia so repeatedly questions are asked on its side effect which is the extra pyramidal symptoms so the extra pyramidal symptoms like acute dystonia so acute dystonia will occur in the patient taking this antipsychotic drugs so how do you treat this acute dystonia so we will be treating it using promethazine so questions are asked like this so a case can be given that a pa- patient was having schizophrenia and he was taking so and so drugs but after the few days he developed this symptom so what is the alternative or how will you treat it so another example is the acute dyskinesia acute ekthesia So for acute ekthesia, we will be using mostly the beta blocker, which is the propranolol. And you need to also look at the classification of this antipsychotic drug. So the classification, they are classified into first generation, which are the atypical. That means there will be uh, only blocking the D two receptor. Act by blocking the D two receptor. 
whereas uh, second generation which are the typical sorry these first generation these are the typical and the second generation these are the atypical ones so this atypical ones they act on the d2 receptor as well as the serotonin receptor so let me discuss another very important point here usually these uh, conditions which ha happen in the brain like the depression the schizophrenia the parkinson alzheimer's okay so these things they usually happen due to the imbalance of the neurotransmitter so what you need to do is look at the disease and which a neurotransmitter is imbalanced like for example in the schizophrenia it is the imbalance between the 5-HT3 uh, serotonin and dopamine okay and for depression it will be decreased serotonin serotonin will be decreased in the depression and nor adrenaline and dopamine will also be decreased like likewise for the OCD it is due to the decreased serotonin and for the Alzheimer's it is due to decreased ACH for the Parkinsonism also it is the imbalance between the dopamine and the ACH okay so you need to uh, look at these also which neurotransmitters are involved in which condition then moving on the extra pyramidal side effects we have already discussed this then the panic attack usually a case based question is asked on this panic attack so the clinical features will be palpitation sweating chest pain shortness of breath shortness of breath then chest pain then palpitation then anxiety all these things will the patient will be suffering from and uh, if it is present for a short time like for 10 to 15 minutes then it is called as the panic attack and uh, for the treatment we usually use the benzodiazepine then ssri and the cbt cognitive behavioral therapy and likewise there is another term that is the post-traumatic stress disorder so the features uh, like the fear shortness of breath the fear pain and anxiety these things are also um, these features are, are seen in the post-traumatic stress disorder but the thing that is differentiated between the panic attack and the post-traumatic is the name itself says post-traumatic that is there will be history of some trauma like a road traffic accident or any other thing okay like some bomb blasting or any accidents okay and another very important thing you can find in this is the dreams of the trauma okay the trauma seen dreams the patient will be having then treatment will be usually the CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for the Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. Then moving on, Alcohol Withdrawal Symptoms. So this is also a must, must, must do topic, alcohol. So whenever the patient uh, will, will be, so whenever a chronic alcoholic dependent patient, he will not take alcohol, then he will uh, start developing some symptoms. So let's look at those if it is six to eight hours then he will be present with the tremors and if it is eight to twelve hours then hallucination 12 24 to 48 hours then seizures and then lastly up to 72 hours then the delirium tremens so this delirium tremens this is asked multiple times this question so there will be clinical case uh, that a chronic alcohol was there alcoholic he was uh, did not take alcohol for the last uh, 20 and he did not take alcohol for two three days and now he presents to the emergency with uh, Bernicke's encephalopathy and Korkoff syndrome so what is it called as so it will be delirium tremens so questions are also asked on this like which is the most common uh, which is the earliest feature and how will you treat these things and this delirium tremens it is the most severe and the most dangerous so you need to also look at the alcoholic uh, withdrawal things like the disulfiram like reaction which is called as the evulsion therapy so this disulfiram uh, like reaction this question was asked in the recent jan 24 exam then we also use certain drugs to make the patient 
de addict from the alcohol so alcohol de addiction uh, this topic is also important then moving on to the parkinson's disease so parkinson's disease as you all have learnt it in many other subjects like uh, pharmacology pathology then the medicine okay so this is also an important topic and i think very quite easy topic it is you can easily solve the questions if it is asked on the parkinson's disease so another name is the levy body dementia so the clinical features will be like uh, pin rolling tremors then uh, lead pipe like rigidity in inability to start movement and if he starts the movement then inability to stop the movement okay so all these features will be described and treatment will be usually the uh, levodopa we use the levodopa plus the carbidopa uh, combination so you need to also look at the other drugs like the d2 receptor agonist or the drugs which decrease the ach then moving on to the alzheimer's disease so this is also an age related disorder so the clinical features will be described that the patient is not able to recall the things so memory loss and then and then irritability and look at the age also the age of the patient will be uh, more like 70 80 and then the pathophysiology is that there will be abnormality in the uh, neurofibrillary tangles okay so there will be accumulation of the neuritic plaques okay so the pathophysiology deposition of the beta amyloid protein which will cause these symptoms then moving on to the lithium side effects so lithium side effect is also an important topic every year this lithium question is asked uh, either the lithium side effect in the pregnancy or its most common side effect if there is lithium toxicity then how will you treat it okay so do look at all the points from the lithium then ocd is also a must do and quite easy topic because usually the question is asked mainly on the wash washing of the hand so a picture can be given uh, of washing hand and they describe that a person continuously keeps on washing his hand because he feels that they are contaminated so straight away it is the ocd case then moving on what nick is encephalopathy so this is seen due to the vitamin b1 deficiency and usually seen in the chronic alcoholic so whenever this uh, can be given in the patient that a chronic alcohol presents with the confusion confabulation then irritability uh, then uh, what is the diagnosis so either vitamin b1 deficiency or the wernicke's encephalopathy so this is also a very famous question and it is also asked multiple time but this chronic alcoholic and its symptoms withdrawal symptoms so this question is asked every year the pattern of the question is different so either they will describe this wernicke's encephalopathy and you need to do the treatment so by looking at the question you need to first uh, analyze that the vitamin b1 there is deficiency so how will you treat it we will be giving the thiamine iv then the postpartum depression blues and psychosis so this is also an important topic uh, postpartum means after the delivery so in in few patients these symptoms are seen the postpartum blues these are the most common and they are not that severe okay not that severe and these are usually seen in approximately 30 to 75% of people so the symptoms will be like uh, sadness decrease in the sleep then irritability but whereas the depression as we know that it is uh, a little bit severe condition and in that the patient will be having depression suicidal thought guilt and the treatment is usually the behavioral therapy and if it is more severe then we will be giving the ssri and also the patient will be having the suicidal thoughts then the psychosis this is the most severe form okay but it is usually seen in very less people uh, like approximately 0.1 to 0.2% people and uh, presents with delusion and hallucination so treatment is the antipsychotics so clinical case if they want to give then they can give that uh, features describing this a lady postpartum presents with uh, sadness decreased sleep irritability then what is the diagnosis it is postpartum blues 
but if they ask the treatment then you need to first to analyze the diagnosis that is postpartum blues and then make the treatment that is the behavioral therapy and also questions are asked on the week so the blues present in the three days three to five days then the depression uh, the psychosis presents at the three week and the depression presents at the third month three months okay so look at this time duration also because by looking at this time duration also you will be able to solve the mcq then moving on to another another very famous question of the fmg the capcas syndrome so this is a very easy question and it, the definition is asked the question mostly is asked on the definition that is the real uh, the patient thinks that a real person is replaced by an imposter okay and then uh, it is usually associated with the levy body dementia so these two questions are only asked from the capcas syndrome and if an image based question is asked then it will be like a real person then hiding uh, he will be hiding with a mask okay so like that then you can come uh, come to conclusion that it is capcas syndrome then the sigmoid fruit stages so in this uh, stages of development it is classified into various stages like the oral phase anal phase phallic phase latent and genital phase so you need to remember also the age at which age this stage is fixed present and fixation of this place uh, fixation of this phase and the features like for example in this recent jant uh, 2024 exam the phallic phase was asked so this phallic phase the features will be the oipedus complexa and the electra complexa okay so when these uh, things are seen then there is de uh, defect in the phallic phase so do look at this table the sigmoid fruit stages then many mental status examination mmse so this is used to look at the concentration of the patient and what you need to do is subtract 100 from 7 so you need to serially uh, subtract 7 from the number you get and by this you can come to know the concentration of the patient so this only question is asked uh, about the min mini mental status examination so moving on to the next topic the mental retardation in this you need to remember the iq score and the stages okay so the normal is 70 70 and above more than equal to 70 likewise there is the mild then moderate severe and profound so see mild means it will be from 69 to 50 and moderate means 49 to 35 and profound means it will be less than 20 okay so this mental retardation iqs iq scoring you need to buy heart this all so these were some topics which are must to do from the psychiatry so there are other uh, simple topics also like the delusion the basic things like the type of the delusion then the type of the hallucination then the organic brain disorder the organic mental disorders in which there will be uh, the insult present to the brain that is there will be some anatomical changes and usually seen in the elderly okay and whereas the functional mental disorders uh, there will be no anatomical changes present or there will be no any insult to the brain but it is seen in the young and there are various other definitions asked like the anhedonia what is the meaning of the anhedonia then illusion impulse then instinct so that's it in this video guys i hope this video will be useful to you i have already uploaded a video on the important one-liners from the psychiatry so do watch that video as well to get your concepts more clear if you like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to chromat thank you so much bye bye